Hey, what's up guys and welcome to News You Can Use. My name is Seb and I will be your guide as we sift through the oceans of propaganda, generic, same old, same old, heard all before news and bring you the most inspirational, interesting, captivating stories you can actually use. So without further ado, let's get this show on the road. Now we all know the old adage, fake it till you make it. And whilst he's not quite the finished article yet, Abbas Alizadas from Afghanistan is trying his very best to do just that. Let's take a look. <laughs> yes, he is a Bruce Lee impersonator, slash lookalike, slash doppelganger, however you want to put it. And damn, he, he really looked like Bruce Lee. So, you want to be Bruce Abbas Alazadas? Well, come at me, bro! I'm okay! I'm okay! <laughs> that's, uh, that's harder than it looks. <laughs> Slide down. He says he's paid great attention to all of Bruce's mannerisms and he incorporates all of these into his routine. Here's hoping his newfound fame isn't just a flash in the pan. In a month where Stephen Hawking expressed his concerns on the dangers of artificial intelligence growing too powerful and superseding human intelligence, Japan has taken one small step towards a robot apocalypse. Introducing the new Nestle sales representative, Humanoid Salesbot 3000! So it's finally happened. A humanoid robot has taken a human job somewhere we all see it. In a supermarket in Japan. This robot is called Pepper, created by a robotics firm called Aldebaran, whose goal is to build humanoid robots, a new humanoid species for the benefit of humankind. Humanoid robots. Well, I heard that before. Oh, I don't know. Oh man. These guys are geniuses. It uses a 3D camera to perceive its surroundings. It listens to your voice, analyzes your body language, learns and remembers information over time and changes its behavior based on that information. It's actually quite frightening how far we progress technologically now. This robot can read the full range of human emotion. We've basically boiled down what essentially makes us human into mathematical equations and algorithms. It's both exciting but slightly terrifying at the same time. Who knows what the future could hold? Now hold on just a minute. I've been on some pretty long treks in my time, but this lady, she gives new meaning to the word. A journey that has taken nine long years to make is finally about to reach its conclusion. You may not have heard about it until now, but it's certainly been quite the odyssey for her as Dutch actress Melon Usevoort is just days away from completing the arduous journey she embarked from Holland to the South Pole. Oh, and I forgot to mention the part about it being made in a in a tractor. Wait, 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 wait. This can't be right. Would you, uh, why would you do such a thing? The tractor really symbolizes this down-to-earth farmer's fact and wisdom that if you really want to do something, maybe you're not so fast, but if you keep going, you'll get there and um, keep your sense of humor alive. So for me, the tractor is like strong, stubborn, and it just, it just keeps going. The final, most challenging leg of the adventure involves a 4,500 kilometer round trip crossing the largest mass of ice on the planet battling temperatures as low as minus 56 degrees. Well, I hope she packs some thermals. A new mobile phone app that matches female drivers with female passengers only has powered up in New York City. The app is called She Taxis or She Rides. According to She Rides, this is the only female only driver service of its kind in the United States and the company hopes to launch similar female taxi services in other parts of the country in the future. Imagine that. 
Now hold on, hold on, hold on, I, I hear what you're saying. Isn't this all a little bit sexist? I mean, what if a guy wants to get in the taxi, but this is the only number around? Uh, normally we're going to pick up a 90% just woman. Even if you call with a man, the two of you could come in. It's not just woman. So there it is. Fear not, fellow men. As long as we're accompanied by a female, we can ride shotgun too. Man, I love the BFG films. You remember the BFG films? Yeah, man, they, they were so good. They're, they're full of tall, friendly guys. And they don't come much taller or friendlier than pro basketballer Bob Wegner. He stands at 7 feet 8 inches high, has a 28 centimeter hand span, and UK size 22 feet. He's a beast. He's been touring the UK, reaching new audiences, and at 21 years of age, he's certainly one to watch for the future. Bob plays for the Lake Michigan Admirals basketball team, which is part of the Premier Basketball League in the USA. And this makes him the tallest professional athlete on planet Earth. That is some record. However, one of the key differences between Bob and some of the other known tallest individuals of the world is Bob's height is not down to any medical condition. It's quite simply genetic. His family are all tall, with his mum and dad both well over six feet in height. Whoa, is that the time? Well, that's all for me this week, guys. But if you want to catch up on some of the full stories mentioned in this video, head on over to newcivity.com. We've got plenty of juicy articles and stories and videos for you to sink your teeth into. Also, feel free to hit us up on Twitter and subscribe to our YouTube for more good news stories from around the world. Until next time, guys, stay positive. There's always some good news around the corner. Bye.